Mr. with Agony Gaming here, and this is Mr. Double Dagger, Backstab, Crit Damage, Deep Build. The core of this build is 25 deadly yards and 30 in critical strikes. Not only do these have strong damage traits, they also have pretty strong passives. My first minor is Serpent's Touch. Stealing applies poison for 10 seconds every time I use it. My 10 point trait is Sundering Strikes. Vulnerability on crits is too strong not to have. I love it. My second minor is Lotus Poison, which weakens targets whenever I poison them. This works with my auto attack, my steal, and all my other poisons. My last major trait in this line is Dagger Training. You can't really go wrong with 5% increased dagger damage, and that's going to be your primary weapon. My third minor here is Exposed Weakness, which will give me a constant 10% damage bonus since the target will always have a condition. On to Critical Strikes. My first minor trait is Keen Observer, a nice crit chance bonus when my health is above 90%. Next I have Side Strike. This 7% crit is key since most of my damaging attacks will be from behind my target. My second minor, Opportunist, is really strong considering most of my attacks will be crits, and who doesn't like free initiative? My second major trait in this line is Critical Haste. It's like having a free Sigil of Rage on your character without having to socket it into your weapons. My third minor is First Strikes, another nice passive damage bonus for all my attacks since I rarely blow through all my initiative. My last major trait in Critical Strikes is one of the strongest, Executioner, a whopping 20% extra damage when the target is below 50% health. On to my last 15 points in Acrobatics. I take these because they allow me to dodge more to have a bit of survivability. My first two traits allow me to give myself Swiftness and Might whenever I dodge, while my third trait here is what allows me to dodge three times in a row. For this build, your only survivability is your mobility. If you intend to stand in place in DPS, I'd recommend taking the easier route of a dual pistols build. Thief skills are very situational. These are mainly what I use for my personal playstyle. Signet of Agility offers a nice passive precision bonus for my crit build, and doubles as a condition removal and endurance recharger for my entire party. Shatter Refuge is a very powerful AoE stealth that lasts roughly 8 seconds if you remain inside of it for some time. It heals for a bit of health and also offers a nice dark combo field. As for my third utility skill, I generally like to take Smokescreen. It's a really nice projectile deflect, as well as a decent blind. I use this one a lot in Fractals. Sometimes if I run without a Mesmer, I'll swap in haste for an on-demand quickness boon for even faster bursting. It can also be swapped for Signet of Shadows if you prefer having a run speed bonus over something more useful. This is good for moving around maps. Thief Elites are pretty straightforward. Thieves Guild for single target, Dagger Storm for AoE. Thieves Guild is great when coupled with Time Warp, while Dagger Storm is great with combo fields. For my heal, I usually always use Hide in Shadows because it's a heal that stealths you, gives you regen, and cures burning, poison, and bleeding. For gearing, I use all Berserker gear with Ruby Orbs to maximize my damage. For my sigils, I use Accuracy and Bloodlust. These offer me crit chance and power. Another option would be to swap Bloodlust for Strength if you find you can't keep up 25 stacks. I sit at 61% crit, 5% more from my sigil, another possible 12% from traits, 20% from fury, fully buffed up, I easily have 100% crit chance. As far as bonus crit damage goes, I'm at 160% total. 50% base, plus 110% from traits and gear. This can get even higher with a warrior banner and consumables. Now I'll leave you with some footage of me playing my thief. Take note how I'll use cloak and dagger whenever I can to stack up some vulnerability and stealth myself in hopes to land a devastating backstab. You'll also notice most of my damage is from auto attacking. 
This is because the speed of my attack, coupled with my poison strike, make it far superior to my other weapon skills. Once the target gets below 25% health, let the Heartseeker spam ensue. I hope this video guide was somewhat informative to you. If you want to check out more, hit subscribe and watch some of our other profession videos from our guild. Stay stealthy, friends. Thank <laughs> you.